welcome welcome thank you so much for joining us once again in this youtube channel thank you for joining us here is a headline genesis Oladeli members mercilessly condemn Lamwe teriba so before we dive into the news please if you are just joining us for the first time please don't forget to like this video channel and for those who have not subscribed please don't forget to click on the red button to get more of this news so let's dive into the news for today so Lamwe teriba the atorishe kona atorishe kona he is a gospel entertainer a yoruba musician he came out in a video and said he doesn't want anybody to associate his holy any holiness with him although he is a gospel entertainer he likes to jaya his life he doesn't pretend he's not an hypocrite like most gospel musicians that try to hide anything he does what he would do inside he does it outside and he's not hiding anything he's not scared of anybody or everything that he's doing is just to please god he said he wants to live his life entertaining people in the name of Jesus Christ. So Larry Teriba decided to get in between the field between Prophet Oladele Ogundikpe, aka Genesis, and Reverend Mother Esther Ajayi. Both of them are beneficiaries of Yadura. So Reverend Mother Esther Ajayi, also known as Yadura. She's having a clash with Oladele Ugundipi, also known as Genesis. So, how can two prophets and reverend fighting publicly, quarreling, having conflict publicly? Doesn't make sense. I know Genesis was speaking anyhow against. Yadura. That was the reason why Lanwe Teriba decided to come out and speak up and say that ah this one is too much. You you are a beneficiary of Yadura. You really enjoyed things so much. He gave you money, gave you millions. So why would you come out and speak evil against her? The threats that came out of Lanwe to Genesis, who has been his friend before knowing the rich woman. You know, Lanwe said, Genesis has to go and apologize to Yadura. That he needs to go. Because Genesis, when he was pushing in his church on Sunday, said, anybody that calls him to advise him, that person would die. Because Genesis came out and you know, was talking evil things about this woman. And said nobody should call him would die. anybody that calls him would die so Lanwe, Lanwe is, a, is his bosom friend Lanwe said they have been very close friends even from when they had they didn't have any money so Lanwe is saying that he should have gone to you know called him privately but he said it already that anybody that calls him that person would die and he doesn't want to die so Lanwe decided to do a live video and tell Genesis to go and apologize to Yadura that you cannot bite the finger that, you know, raised you up now. It was a woman that helped him, you know, to be this church now. That, no, you can't, you can't speak to her that way. So people are skeptical about um, this Yadra, about where she got her money from, all the money she's spending. People are questioning her, questioning her wealth, because they believe that she had a very small church in um, UK then. So where did she get all the money from? That's another part of the story. People are questioning Yadra for some time now. They say she came back home and built a, a, a beautiful cathedral. But where did she get her money from? So, uh, my own opinion is, pastors, no, let's not, you know, even the Bible said that, don't speak against my prophet, do my prophet no harm. So, let's just leave them. They and God, they have... A jot on my law she at the end of the you know at the end of everything so let nobody speak against any prophet pastor reverend no they and god who face it 
Let's not point fingers. Let's not say this one is it's not your business. Don't be a judge. God is the one that judges everybody. So my own advice is we should not judge any of them. We should not speak against them. So in the Bible, how um is Elisha that some children spoke against him that the BS ate them up. So we should not speak evil against these people because God has anointed them. That is my own feeling. So people are questioning the world of most pastors now not just yadua say most pastors they are well and they are full-time pastors how do they get the kind of money some buy private church so i mean all the if you see their church you'll be like oh my goodness just leave them just leave them just leave them don't speak don't say what you don't know there are things on the ground you know so larry came out and came out publicly and said Genesis, what you said to to Yadua, she doesn't deserve it. After everything she did for you, she doesn't deserve the insult, the every you know, how we spoke to her was so bad. Did a life video so it doesn't make sense. He was even speaking. He was it was on the altar he was talking to I know it doesn't make sense. So he advised Larry advised Genesis to go and meet Yadua and apologize and apologize. She says she doesn't owe you anything. No, she doesn't owe you anything. She doesn't. If she decides not to give you anything, she will not give you anything. But for you to come out and start insulting her, it doesn't make sense. So my own advice for these musicians, I know gospel celebrities, is we need to be careful. People are watching us, right? The other religions, they are watching us. So let's not be doing something people not be like look at look at they call themselves christians let's be guided in whatever we do let's be very very guided nobody's telling you to live an hypocrite life but just be guided try and have self-control that is one of the gifts of the holy spirit so what's your take on this what do you feel about you know pastors having huge wealth wealth that in some few years they've already built what do you feel about it? Pastor building big churches, you know, and they are full time pastors, they don't work. What do you feel about it? What do you feel about gospel musicians, or actors, um, prophets, reverends having clashes against themselves? What is your take on it? Let me see your comments in the comment section. What is your opinion on this? This is the love and unity that should always abide among us. So among the Yorubas. Always put their Yorubas. And I just mentioned their name. Larry, Teriba, Genesis, that's um Genesis, Oladele, Ugundikbe. Uh uh. The Yadua, Wever, Mother Esther, Jayish. But they are all Yorubas and there should be unity. Yoruba nation, they are asking for a nation that is of peace and progress and love. So there should be unity among the Yorubas. So what's your take on this? Let me hear this in the comment section. Thank you so much for listening. Do not forget to like this video. Just click on the like button and like if you really enjoy this news. And for those who have not subscribed, please click on the red button to subscribe to get more of this exciting news. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.